So my friend David beside me came to Christ when he was about 10 years old as a kid, but he has lived most of his life on his own terms. This is my sweet friend, Amanda. I'm just really excited to introduce her today. She has such a beautiful testimony that is a beautiful picture of God's heart for redemption and grace. Uh, Mike is someone that encourages a lot of people that are in ministry because he's growing and he's excited. Uh, he believed in God growing up, but he really didn't have any information on him. Uh, he didn't know anything about Jesus. And it took actually his daughter asking questions about why people were at her preschool um, on Sundays in large amounts. And he said, well, they learn on Sundays about God. And she asked, what did they learn? He didn't have answers right away, so he decided he would get back into church and figure out some of those things. And along the way, about two and a half years, he's been at Faith Bridge now. Um, and through that process, he's come to a surrendered uh, faith in Jesus Christ. Her older brother had passed a few years ago, and afterwards she felt doubt and confusion and felt unsure that God's goodness was true for her life. Um, in the wake of losing her brother, Amanda's family faced a major restructuring where she found herself taking care of her older brother's son as her own. And seeking to answer Josh's questions about death and God and heaven, they found themselves at Faith Bridge. And as soon as she walked in, she said she felt welcomed and invited in and loved. And it was this answered prayer of community and family that renewed her desire to explore the gospel and see what it really meant for her. And then at a Maundy Thursday service, Amanda accepted the abundant gift of grace um, after she pictured Jesus kneeling to wash her feet. And the love and sacrifice that was entailed in that just really brought her to understand how much he loved her and wanted her. David has experienced a couple of miracles in his life. More recent, uh, God has saved him from alcoholism. He's about 70 days clean. The Lord has moved him away from uh, decades of addiction and he's ready to uh, be baptized, uh, claim to follow, and he is in awe of the thankfulness uh, that his, he's living right now. Her story has been rewritten with joy and peace and gratitude and watching her love and lead and teach Josh has been such a gift. He knows he's not perfect and he knows he's not going to be perfect, but he knows he can be surrendered and he knows he's growing. In her own words, she wants today to reflect and declare that she's been radically transformed by Jesus and that God is in the business of restoration and celebration. He wants to step into the water today because he believes it's truly the next step of his faith uh, to profess to everyone that he follows Jesus Christ.